So the first time I went to church was when I was four years old. Um, I attended the LDS church. And it was something that we did on the weekends. And then during the week, we didn't really follow the lessons. It was just a very confusing time. And I ended up at the age of 16, uh, leaving the faith. Uh, the more I read the Bible, I felt that it just didn't align with what they were teaching. We didn't have any church in our background. Um, it was never, never really a, a thing we talked about or I had some friends that used to go to church and I was actually invited one time. When I was 10, my father, he's a very violent man and very physical. And so his approach was tough and I had made a simple kid mistake. With his hands, he hit me until I was paralyzed. It turned my life into a really dark place for a long time. My mom filed for divorce. I thought that our lives were gonna be better. I thought that the abuse would stop and it didn't. So by the time I was 18 and I moved out, I didn't know how to control my emotions. I didn't know how to walk in life without drinking or smoking or using substance. And I just didn't want that. My mental health was in a dark place. I went to a doctor and I was actually diagnosed bipolar. I just knew I always wanted better, but my faith wasn't strong enough to really rely on God, so I relied on doctors. And so for 19 years, I lived on medications and it nearly killed me. I ended up with really high levels of metals in my body. I had lithium poisoning and it led me to becoming suicidal in 2017. So I sat down with my husband, Corey, and just told him how I felt. He just cried and poured into me his love. And I still at that time struggled with even feeling and accepting love by the way I was raised. And so the next day I took myself through uh, treatment at Crown Delay. There I spent 10 days working on myself, taking daily classes and set a goal of getting off of medication. And I knew that meant uh, I would have to start exercising regularly. So on the 10th day, Corey picked me up from treatment and drove me straight to a CrossFit gym. And it took about two years, but I became 100% medication free. My mind was starting to become clearer. My body was becoming stronger. We'd met Dave at the gym and really liked your vibe. And so I reached out to you and uh, asked about a small group. And so we attended. I started attending a small group at a coffee shop in Pasco. You know, I was pretty nervous at the beginning because without having a background of any uh, faith-based knowledge, you know, it could be pretty overwhelming. I ended up going to this small group and at first being really reluctant and just inside questioning all of it, but slowly and surely feeling my heart soften and open up with the, our daughter relentlessly asking to go to church and go to church, we just finally took her to church and we gave in. And within two weeks, she signed up to join the worship team. And so I know the Lord was just pushing me through her and uh, we just didn't skip a beat. We come every week, we sit up front and just lesson by lesson, I slowly feel my heart really learning that it's more about what Jesus has done for us and not what we have to do for Jesus, because we will never measure up. We are not perfect. Uh, we are sinners and it's all about repentance and redemption, not about how much you can serve and how much you can give of yourself. Since I've started following him, it's really taken a huge weight off my shoulders. I used to be pretty hard on myself with my decisions and once you know that we can be forgiven for our sins, it just opens up a different way of thinking. I put in, you know, a lot of time reading the Bible, going through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's really helped me, you know, understand how everything came about. I feel like now I have a best friend in Jesus. I want to be better and I want to do right things because of his love. And I'm also leading uh, my own small group of some fellow CrossFitters. When I first was asked, I felt 
unworthy of the calling and just felt a lot of self-doubt. But with a lot of prayer and good leadership from others, uh, I've really just kind of stepped into the role and realized that it's, it's not about me. It's not about how I feel. It's just about really being a facilitator and spreading more love of Jesus.